Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today we want to take a look at this really, well, strange looking base. Not really, it's one of the most famous bases right now in Legend League and it's crazy. Like most of the top pushers are using it or did use it and it's it's just doing crazy good in Legend League. Um, whenever you're facing those annoying Yeti spam guys, this is one of the bases which can actually defend that. So. What we're going to do, we try to talk about all of this and obviously, guys, if you want to check out one of my English streams, I will stream today, like Friday, on Saturday and Sunday in English, always from 6 to 8 p.m. Like when this video is coming out, you could actually just like jump over to the stream. I'm streaming on Twitch, the link is down below in the description and well, it would be awesome to see you guys over there. I'm streaming from 6 to 8 p.m. CET in English and then we will switch over to German like from 8 to around about 10 um, p.m. we were gonna stream in German. So that's, that's the plan. If you guys like the content um, on this channel, if you guys would like to support me, that's easy for you guys. You can just go in your in-game settings, in more settings, and then scroll to the bottom over there. And over there you can find this uh, credit boost code and you can type in there Itsu, like small or big letters do not really matter. But remember, every seven days you guys have to retype the code in, um, otherwise the code is lost. And would be super awesome if you guys would support any of the creators out there because they're putting a lot of work into all of this. And well, let's take a look at this base. This base is one of the, like I said, most popular bases right now out there. And the reason why it's why that's the, the, the case is that it is super compact. Like a lot of players think like, okay, it's easy with e rex or stuff like this, but it's not as easy as it looks like. So why is this base so strong? It's super compact, like I said, and this makes every single small mistake a super big one. Because as soon as you're having like one small funnel mistake or something is going wrong only a little bit, it's messed up. The reason for that is pretty, pretty simple actually. You have so much damage in the core with all of the ground expos that it's super hard to actually get to the town hall and you had to funnel perfectly to get there. Then as well, if you have like a ground army and you do not have any... Um, earthquakes with you, it's getting really tough to get into the into the core. In addition to that, the the most common base layouts is always having the scatter shot in the core. I don't know, I personally like the scatter shots a bit further on the outside because this makes it a really nice uh, cross setup because most of the players are coming either in from the right, from the bottom right or from the top left side. This means you always have one of the scatter shots, at least one of the scatter shots at the flank of the attack and this, they're dealing so much damage, especially to those P.E.K.K.A. smash attacks, because P.E.K.K.A. and Yeti, which is normally a good thing for them, group up a lot, which means the healers are really effective on them. But at the, at the same time, they're getting smashed by this uh, scatter shots. So this is the reason why I like personally the scatter shots on the out, outside a little bit more. Um, and yeah, if you guys think right now, like, okay, it's uh, those are uh, four ground expos. How the hell should this base defend against any air attacks? Well, the reason is that you're bringing three ice golems in your defensive CC, which is, is not really helping either. But the reason that it's basically defending is that you have a really nice setup of air skeletons. I don't know, I feel like it's super hard for electric dragons to get through. Um, the only thing sometimes is with like dragons, they're coming really close, but uh, most of the time, they have no chance to get even that far into the base. So that's the reason why I wanted to show you guys this base. But I think to prove my point is, let's take a look at how I attacked this base recently. And you guys know that I'm normally pretty good with Queen Shot Hawk Riders. So let's try to throw that army on this base. So this was my attack on one of those bases. And this one has actually these scatter shots in the core. Like I said, you can switch it up like you want. Um, it's totally on you, but let's see and how it will work. Once again, notice as well, this guy is running two single front towers and this base, which I'm providing to you, is basically the the um, idea of the base. You do not have to copy it like 100%. You can switch around with your scatter shots like this guy. You can switch it around with your single front towers, with the traps. Let me know what you guys changed to make the base even better. So for me, what I did is I loot the CC out kind of early. That's easy on this base. And then the next thing is just trying to charge in. I tried to charge into the single front tower to get that out of the way as early as possible. And the next thing which I'm going to do is breaking my king in at the top just to make sure that the funnel is set up so my queen is actually going the right way. The next thing which I have to do is, well, I just have to 
hope my queen is going the right way because funneling on this base is super annoying and super hard. The reason is the queen can do only one step and the entire attack is over. So the next thing which we are gonna, going to do is placing the siege machine like the ram to make sure that our queen is actually getting into the core. The next thing we have to do is to make sure that our queen is not getting roasted by the single front tower otherwise we'll have a problem. For us it's a bit unlucky um, that the queen is actually getting targeted by the by the single phone tower, which means I need to use a, fr uh, a free spell over there. The next thing is I'm, uh, I, I'm going to use the uh, rage, but this is, but over there, there was like this one small step which messed up the entire attack. The queen is going on to the outside, with my queen going in for the single phone tower, for the town hall, everything would have went perfectly, but this is the small things which can go wrong, which I wanted to highlight. The queen shot so far went perfectly. Any other base, Easy freaking triple any day. But on this base, one, one minor, minor misstrap of the queen is costing me the entire attack. So I still can enter um, the town hall and get obviously the second star, but it's not as high as of a percentage I would like it to be because, well, the percentage on this base is super annoying to get. Like, I would show you guys the entire base in a second again, but it's super hard to actually get the percentage on the outside. The reason for that is that always the buildings are one tile or like two tiles into the base which means bowlers or like wizards cannot reach those defense or like those those trash buildings to get the percentage actually so that's super annoying for most of the armies and you guys see my hawks are dying there's so many enemy heroes out there which are still which were still alive and this means this attack is not going anywhere and like i said most of the top pushes right now are using this base it's doing crazy well there are a couple of different ver versions out there um, I hope you guys find the best version which is defending for you and let me know, like I said, how this base is defending for you because I normally hate to attack it in Legend League. Um, I find it pretty often and uh, the most important thing is the setup of the traps and I think I found pretty decent setup for the traps. Um, but like I said, the wizards on the right, they're completely useless. They can only attack the wall because they cannot reach the important defense or like the important buildings. And this means I'm stuck at 79%, uh, which is if you actually convert this into trophies, is not too high. Like 79 trophies is an extra decent um, defense if you consider that I did without this one small mistake with this small miss of my queen, it was a flawless attack in my opinion. So the next thing is going to be um, like I said, take a look at all of the outside buildings and at the core. It's super compact, um, which makes normally Edrex really powerful. But like I said in the beginning, I had I have a couple of air skeletons flying around there. I do not like right now any um, like to mix up the CC too much. I like the um, ice golems a lot, especially against all of those Yeti guys out there. I mean, I'm using Yetis on my own and just hate uh, three ice golems in the defensive CC. So. Those defenses are super annoying and uh, that's the reason why I like to run it. A lot of players right now are using ground armies. If you're getting attacked, attacked a lot by air, just get something else in there. Like get a couple of witches in there. Get lava on a witch in there something like that. Uh, it's totally up to you. But for me personally, the three ice golems are my favorite at the moment. And now as soon as we zoom a little bit more out, you can see most of the buildings are, like I said, two tiles into the base. Which means my cleanup wizards, like I showcased you guys in a, a second ago, are super, like, they cannot reach the the defenses, like the, the trash bridge on the outside to get the percentage. That's super annoying and that is causing a lot of time fails as well. Like, even if you're completely wrecking the base, but with all of the buildings pretty far inside, this means that you cannot reach all of them. Which means... You either have to bring war breakers for your cleanup, which is no one like no one is doing that. But um, you cannot really reach that, which means time fails are really high, um, or like are happening quite often against this base, even if the attacker is doing really well. And yeah, let me guys know how this base worked for you. I have the link down below in the description and in the comments. Let me know how it worked for you and let me know if you change anything up. Like I said, I did this minor tweak with the scatter shots. For me personally, I, I like it the most. Let me know if you guys stayed with the four ground expos or if you switched up a little bit more on the ground air setup. Because like I said, with the mix of having air skeletons and ground expos, that's right now a really good way for me running um, bases. I don't know, I feel like it's, it's a pretty good mix. Sometimes or for most of the bases, like uh, two ground, two air are pretty good as well. But this setup is is working really well for me at the moment. 
And yeah, I would like to hear from you guys how you guys like the bass. I will see you guys hopefully in the next one. Remember, I will stream today from 6 to 8 p.m. in English. So if you guys want to watch my Legend Attacks, make sure to uh, stop by and I will see you guys there. See you and bye bye.